The late chairman of Samsung Group, Lee Gun Hee, donated an unprecedented number of works of art to two of Korea's national museums. And now these pieces are finally on display to the public at the National Museum of Korea and the Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art. Ahead of Wednesday's opening, our culture correspondent Kim Bo Kyung has a sneak peek. Finally, the masterpieces are unveiled. Two national museums have been given a total of more than 21,000 works from the late Samsung Group chairman Lee Gun Hee's massive art collection, and they will start displaying those works to the public on Wednesday. Under the title "A Great Culture Legacy: Masterpieces from the Bequest of the Late Samsung Chairman Lee Gun Hee," the National Museum of Korea is holding a two-month exhibition presenting Lee's valuable art and antiques to the public. Art and antiques spanning from the prehistoric era to the early 20th century show a glimpse into the remarkable diversity of the collection. Lee's collection is extensive, covering all periods and genres. Earthenware from prehistoric times, gilt bronze statues from the Three Kingdoms period, quarter dynasty transcriptions, a Buddhist scriptures, and Joseon era paintings. Two quarter era Buddhist paintings are so old that infrared and X-ray photography has been used so that visitors can see the details. Other highlights include the ink and wash painting "Clearing After Rain on Mount Inwang" by Joseon era court painter Jung Seon, and the "Sound of Autumn" drawn by another celebrated court painter Kim Ong Do. Under the title "Lee Gun Hee Collection: Masterpieces of Korean Art," the MMCA's whole two kicks off its exhibition on July 21st. 58 pieces by 34 artists. The unique works by artists who served as the backbone of Korean modern art, such as Kim Hwang Gi's "Woman and Jars" and Lee Jung Sup's "Bull," will catch visitors' eyes. The donated art renews the donation culture and is a chance to rewrite the history of Korean modern and contemporary art. The MMCA will further study and research to share the result with art lovers. The National Museum of Korea will run its exhibition until September 26, while the MMCA's exhibition will go until March 13 next year. Both need to be booked in advance through the official website, and tickets are selling fast. Kim Bo Kyung. Arirang News.